All right, people, this is uh, Toby, Home Mechanic, uh, twitter.com forward slash Home Mechanic UK, on Facebook under Home Mechanic. I'm about to start work on putting the Mazda back together. Uh, currently, it's got the turbo off. No, sorry, the turbo's still on, the manifold off. The manifold are cracked, so uh need to get welded up. Welded up by Alpha Performance Fabrication in Wellingborough. Check those guys out. Pretty decent, did a really good job. Um, I'll put in a picture of the, uh, the manifold um, as it was. And uh, yeah, let's get this done. So here's that uh, picture of the manifold welded. Yeah, just some packing some parts here. Um, I've got some new turbo gaskets. Um, I think I got these, there's a company called Nearings, they're on eBay, Latvia, but uh, as I found out, the turbo I've got, the GT2052, is the same as an MGZ TT turbo, I think it is, so um, yeah, the gaskets there are the same, so gasket kit for one of those will uh, will fit my, my setup, so yeah, uh, pretty cheap I think, it's under 20 quid. Some new um, manifold studs, I had to uh, cut one down or grind one down, grind one of the nuts down, so I got a new set of that. And I think, because of the MX-5 parts, this manifold gasket, actually possibly auto link, possibly auto link, um, yeah, the most overly uh, taped up, wrapped um, packaging. I'm fighting to get into it. With these happy days. So I just thought I'd uh, show you this clip as well. Um, it's just the model uh, gasket that I used for the exhaust manifold uh, MG7309, well known aftermarket um, make. And I uh, just thought I'd show this quick clip as well. Thanks. Here we are. So the new stud here on the left that I've got, uh, I've had to cut down to size due to the way this manifold is designed means that access is limited. Actually looking at this one here, it does look like it's been cut down um, before. So yeah, I think that's probably what happened. Um, but all sorted, we should see how it goes. Would you look at that? Da, da, da. Welcome to the garage, day two. This is Toby again, introducing pain in the arse manifold and turbo mate up level success. I have, after much fighting, managed to get the manifold to mate up with the, uh, the turbo flange here. Um, so it required uh, trolley jack under the car to um, jack up the downpipe. Uh, this is a complete decat setup, so I've got no yeah, no catalyzer. So it's from the turbo downpipe or the turbo joint rather goes straight into the downpipe into a flexi, and then uh, you know the rest of the system. So it's quite a lot of weight hanging off this. Um, probably when this is done, I'm looking to get a, the turbo brace because yeah, it's a lot of weight on there, and that's probably why the mani cracked in the first place. But hey, this is uh, yeah just joined back up, so I'm going to get the uh, the nuts back on these uh, and everything tightened up. Uh, yesterday when I left off, I had realised I had started to tighten up the top uh, top nuts um, on the the manifold and realised I was going to have to undo them all again. So I went home, came back this morning nice and fresh, and uh, yeah, that's how we're going to leave it for now. Battery light on my camera is flashing red. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, here we go. It's all back together. Um, I had to cut up a new uh, nut and bolt for the uh, turbo manifold uh, where it connects just down here. Oh, the light's not great. Um, and yeah, aside from that, it's all back together. We'll give it a go and see whether it starts. 
Okay, boys and girls. I've got battery. Air fuel sensor's just warming up. Probably expect a bit of a bit backfire the first time because it's been a little while and uh, this is a cold start. Okay, let's see what she does. Bit of an exhaust leak maybe. Let's see. Started though. Manifold might need tightening down a bit. And one of those bolts might need tightening up. Quite like first time though. Find out what's rattling around down there. Find out there's a spanner in all sorts. All right, let me check. And yes, whilst you're thinking about the clacking and all that jazz, I did check the oil before. It's got plenty of oil. Everything else looked normal. I took a little drive afterwards, um, let things warm up, and it calmed down. So I'm hoping and yeah, thinking that that's just uh, oil getting around the system. I hadn't been running about a couple of months. Um, I didn't rev it hard. Uh, I just took it for a drive and it seemed fine. And I'm going to check again. And fingers crossed.